Hello everybody and welcome back here to the channel. We're staring at the starting gate for the next round of ESDA. We're going to Fuji. So we're going to be taking the next level racing, Mazda Racing Energy Innovations E36 Com Car out for some shakedown laps here before qualifying the end of this week. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of which found in the description box below. <laughs> Let's get to it. So we are on the Mazda R5 for this round. I've actually been getting quite comfortable with this wheel and how small it is. So we're sticking with it because I've been super comfortable with it. So we're going to go take a look at the track. First off, we're going to do our little track walk. We have our very, very long entry. And then we have a initiation that's a little bit bumpy. And then we do have a inner clip right there to an outer little touch and go into a nice long left-handed sweeper to a wall which if you miss it and you clip that wall that's going to be very deadly to another inner clip and then we got to stretch this out almost all the way out to here not trying to hit the rumbles as possible to another outer zone and then a hard uphill bumpy transition to a inner clip and a final touch and go. So this track is a little bit tricky. We're gonna run it a couple times in first person, then switch to the roof cam. Because for me, I like to personally start running the tracks in first per in uh, third person because I get a sense of where my car is, and I start getting a little muscle memory in place, and then I start to uh, get fully dialed in. So we're gonna start the thing in second gear. I believe this could be a fifth gear track. That is a really bumpy entry. Okay. We're going to come out, touch and go, transition over. Kind of monitor. Yep, that wall is going to be very deadly if you hit it. We kind of nicked it, but we didn't go fully into it. Stretching out all the way to those rumbles. Into the outer zone, kind of hooking it back in to this inner zone. We've got to stay in power, though. And then there. So, overall... A bit of a challenging track, I feel, with the bumps going into the initiation and stuff like that. It's a little bit more challenging. We're gonna try going fourth gear, then shifting into fifth before we get into that outer wall section. Uh, we do have a pretty good base tune on this car from other rounds, so we may not do too much fine tuning. So we're gonna start in first. And we're gonna do a fourth gear entry. Then kind of pop it into fifth. Oh yeah, that wall is gonna be pretty, uh, pretty deadly if you smack into that. So we're gonna go one more time. So we are on the actual ESD public service, so the, you know, ground and temperatures and everything are correct. I did like the fifth gear entry, so we're just gonna go full send on fifth, and uh, and one more time in third person. Then we're gonna switch into my roof cam and stuff like that. So second gear start. too shabby definitely got to clean up a little bit we're using left foot braking i'm hoping not too much to the point where it's going to dock us massive amounts of points because i'm not using it to slow down i'm kind of using it really just to keep my line which is something that i guess would be up to judge's discretion on that one but we're trying to minimize if you notice we're only using handbrake on initiation and that's it we're not using handbrake any other time so we're definitely trying to utilize less handbrake and more just Gentle taps to left or break just to kind of keep our angle in line and stuff like that. So let's see what we can do in our roof cam.
Kind of a different line there. We may have came out of that, that zone a little bit early. And a little bit wide there, but not too shabby. So we're going to run one more run like that, and then we're going to go see if we can see replays of the last two runs. So definitely feel a little bit more confident in this track than other ones. Def like I said, missed the last round due to um, I lost my family, but we're back behind the rig. We're gunning for this. We're going to try and qualify in for this round in 432 battles. We just got to make sure that jitters don't get to us. Don't think we're allowed to touch rumbles there, so we're going to have to alter that slightly. And I think, oh, that's a little bit wide. And we came out of that zone really early. Kind of had to pop that handbrake to get the car to go where we wanted it to on that run. So let's take a look at the replay of those runs. Oh, in order to take a replay, we're going to have to... forgot we're on an online session. So, we're going to run one more time in third. Just to kind of see where we're at. And then we'll go take a look at those two first um, roof cam runs. So, this track is definitely challenging with the bumps on entry. Uh, I heard a lot of people using the bumps as like their initiation point. So, we're going to try and just flick entry this as much as possible without a handbrake and see what happens. We'll send it. I mean, it is totally possible. If I was on the right line, that's totally possible to do. But I feel like I would not be able to utilize that correctly. So we're definitely going to uh, just sustain what we've been already doing. Just a quick e-brake flick. This is kind of a full bore track, like pedal to the metal, very minimal throttle, you know, just full commitment on throttle using brakes to gently tap it. So let's go take a look at those replays and we'll be right back. All right, so we're going to take a look at these two runs to kind of digress these a little bit in, of course, the uh, judging cameras and cinematic cameras. So we'll see kind of where we're at. So initiation, I'm not sure if we need to stay off the rumbles, but that was actually quite decent. Pretty decent on that touch and go. Oof. That was that, uh... That was that wall hit. Alright, so let's take a look at this one, because that wall hit was kind of, uh... Kind of, uh, a hurt. So I'm not sure. I need to not initiate on the rumbles, I feel. I feel like that's going to be a problem. Just touch rumbles there, which we need to address. Pretty deep in that zone and pretty decent. Just clicking the rumble there. And nice and deep. We did come out of that zone a little bit early. Earlier than I wanted to, but we did able to bring that up fully into the final zone. So, overall that was not too terrible of a run. The car is actually feeling quite great. Um, I thought... We were going to have a little more tuning to do, but we do have a slight tuning to do, but not as much. I believe we might tweak the gear ratio a little bit, maybe not to run fifth gear, maybe run it in fourth. Um, but fifth gear is not too bad starting in second because it's about the same amount of, um, you know, gear change and things like that. So, Let's see, this I believe this was the other run we were in. Roof can't, yeah, it was. Because I quickly shift in a second. So we take a look at this final run here. Initiating on the rumbles. I need to double check on that. I think we need to initiate off the rumbles. Pretty decent in that touch and go in that first zone. Do that way harder. About the same line through that zone. And then this, we kind of actually didn't straighten out too bad. There's not much wavering in my wheels. Kind of very similar line. Overall, not too bad. We could be doing a lot worse for the first testing on this track. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll let you find the description box below.
Hopefully we can get into top 32 qualifying is this Friday. So as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track. <laughs>